Good morning, welcome to the narrowboat that James built. So I just carried on with the battening last night, as I said I would. So I'll show you a little bit of that. And today is continuing the battening. So I've got to go out once again, shopping. But it's been a nice day. It looks like a nice day today. So I might even get the chance to give the outside of a boat a little clean if I manage to take a, get myself a little break from the woodwork. I'll give the boat a bit of a clean on the outside. So as I drive back into the boat yard with a car full of timber, which I have to get cut at the right sizes so it fits in the car, as opposed to the right sizes, so it <coughs> fits on the boat. And as I get here, and I'm about to unload, I can hear a whole load of clattering and clambering inside the boat. So I um, pop over, I unload the car first, and then I pop over and see what's happening. And I line the timber up here. This is the battening I need for the next part. So I line this up and I pop on board and see what all this clattering is all about. Uh, to match the glass. Right. Um, I mean, it does start getting expensive. Probably talking, well, oh, just in bits alone. Probably talking seven, eight hundred quid to change it over to Dripless. They know that, didn't you? I wasn't quite aware of that, though. No. I wasn't quite aware of that, yeah. I mean, um, from what I can see, if you jump down there, I'll show you. From what I can see, it looks like, uh, um, you can come down behind the boat underneath. I mean, this has got to be something's got to be done about it. It looks to me like there's a hole up through here. Can you see? If you stick your head up around this side, you see where that yeah. brown stone yeah, yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hole right up there. Did the surveyor see Yeah, that, the surveyor saw that. That's what we scraped it out. Yeah. Yeah, so really, like something, something has got to be done. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, if all them, hey, let's do it. Yeah. There's a few things I don't want to be doing on the boat, but lying down in the wet mud with an angle grinder with dust and sparks everywhere is one of them. Okay, so whilst Paul is at the back of the boat doing something, making loud bangs every now and then. Um, I'm going to continue with the battening of the inside starboard side here. So finish that. Now I've got my new timber and then it's a case of the bow. Ideally I'd like to get that done today. So that's the plan. Hope you're well.